Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Symprosis. In this video, we are going to see what is product condition, and how you can solve missing condition warning, or error, using our app. What does product condition attribute mean? Product condition attribute of a product is used to define the condition of a product you are selling. The product can be in three conditions. New, used and refurbished. Setting it correctly within the app will help Google to judge the product condition and it can show the product under the right condition filter when the filters of different conditions are applied. Now we will see products in different conditions. Products in new condition. When products are in new condition, you can ignore the condition attribute setup for the product in the feed. As by default, if the condition is not specified in the feed, Google will consider the product as new. If a variant is in new condition, even if you have not set it as new in the feed or app, variants URL must have schema markup showing variant as new in its microdata analysis. Products in used or refurbished condition. When products are in used or refurbished condition, it is must to specify the product's condition for each product or variant. In our app, you can set the condition at product level only. Once you assign a condition, it will be assigned to all the variants of that particular product. For used and refurbished products, you will have to set the product's condition in the app and in the microdata analysis results as well. If you have a product or products with different variants in different conditions, you will not be able to do it effectively from the app. But our support team will help you overcome this limitation of the app. Kindly get in touch with our support team, they will help you set up different conditions for different variants of the same product. In order to assign a right product condition to the right products, use bulk edit feature of the app. There is a complete video on how to make edits and additions in bulk. The link is given in the description. Now we will see how to fix missing condition warning. First of all, go to your store admin in Shopify. Click on Online Store. On Themes page, in the Actions menu on right-hand side corner, choose Edit Code. Now in the Themes, in the Search tab, type Product and select Product.Template.Liquid. Select the code for the required condition that is new or used or refurbished respectively. Here, in this example, we are adding condition markup for all the products in new condition. Now, copy the code and paste it in product template.liquid or any other file that has slash offer tag of schema markup as shown. If you face difficulty locating this code in the theme, please take the help of our support team. You should not try it on your own if you are not good at coding. If all of your products are in used or refurbished condition, you need to copy the respective code and paste it at the same place in the code. If your store has products with different conditions like some are in new and some in used, you must take the help of a developer, who will make sure correct condition tag is triggering for the product or variant of each condition. To check the schema markups implementation for the condition attribute of each variant, go to Apps, select Google Shopping Feed. In the app, on the left-hand side corner, you can see Manage Products, click on it. Then, click on any of the product. On the product page, click on Microdata Analysis in the lower right-hand side corner. It will redirect you to Google Structured Data Testing Tools result page directly for that particular variant only. For other variants result click on Microdata Analysis link of those variants. Click on Product. Here, you can see the product condition is new. Points to be noted while using Product Condition Attribute Product Condition is an attribute that Google verifies by looking at the schema markup coding done in the variant's URL. To check microdata coding of each product or variant, please go to that product page in the app. There is a microdata analysis link against each variant. Variant's condition must match the condition shown through microdata analysis. If they are not matching, you may have to take the help of a Shopify theme developer to get it corrected. Product in the new condition. It is not necessary to set the product's condition as new in the app. 
by default if not specified in the feed. Google considers the product or variant as new. But, in the microdata analysis, it must show the product in the new condition like this. Product in the used condition. In the app, you have to set product's condition as used and in the microdata analysis, it must show product as used condition like this. Product in the refurbished condition. In the app, you have to set the product's condition as refurbished and, in the microdata analysis, it must show product condition as refurbished like this. If you don't have any developer around you who can fix this issue, kindly take the help of our support team to fix the schema markup by writing us at support at simprocess.com. This fix takes up to 10 days to get updated in the diagnostics results of Google Merchant Center. So, any change made here in the theme, will again be crawled by Google. Based on crawling frequency, you will be able to see the missing value for condition warning reducing to zero or getting close to it in the period of around 10 days. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel to remain updated with feed optimization and marketing videos. If you have any other query or if this does not help, kindly write us at support at See you again in another video.